Hi guys, welcome back to Fast Cabling. In today's video, we are diving into the world of security and civilians by showing you how to set up a PoE camera system for large properties. And with rising concern about safety, having a reliable camera system has become essential. So stick around as we guide you through each step of the installation process. And no matter your needs, our tech solution adapts to fit your unique requirements from enhanced organizations to a seamless communication. It's all about making your digital life smoother. So visit our website now to claim your free tech solution. The concept of power over Ethernet camera system is explored, highlighting its functionalities and benefits. PoE involves the transmission of both power and data, streamlining installation and reducing the need for separate power supply, particularly advantageous for expensive properties. And PoE camera system offer efficient and simplified setup due to their single cable infrastructure, eliminating the complexity of multiple power cords. And the key components of this system, including PoE-enabled cameras, network video recorders, and PoE switches, creating an integrated and comprehensive civilian solution. So effective planning for large properties is crucial, underscoring the need for careful consideration. It holds particular importance, aiding in identification of areas susceptible to potential risk, with a focus on key points such as entrance, driveways, or perimeters. A strategic approach to camera placement is advocated, emphasizing the creation of well-thought-out map to ensure optimal coverage. And such meticulous planning not only enhances security, but also maximizes the efficiency of civilian efforts across the expensive properties. So first step of setting up a security camera for a large property, of course, is to choose the right camera. You have to consider resolution, field of view, and night vision capabilities. And for large properties, a PDZ camera are recommended due to their ability to cover wide areas through adjustable angles and zoom functionality. And high resolution cameras offer the added benefits of capturing fine details over vast territories. So now let me introduce you to some of our cameras. So over here we have the AMP IP camera with motorized lens, a range of 2.8 millimeters to 12 millimeters. So you can zoom in on distance object without sacrificing the video quality. And also the dome shape design enables it to seamlessly blend into surrounding. Next, we have the 5MP bullet camera with very focal lens and allows you to adjust the focal length manually and also with the ability to zoom in and out as needed. And last but not least, we have our 5MP PDZ camera with 30 times optical zoom capability, endless 360 degree pan and 1 degree above horizon tilt angle, offer overall civilian coverage. And also it equipped with an IR removable cut filter to provide 200 meters adaptive night vision. And all of our cameras are equipped with human detection. And this bullet camera also has the vehicle detection too. So next step, we are going to choose the PoE switch and the NVR. You should select an NVR with adequate storage capacity. So over here, we're using this 32-channel dual HDMI network video recorder. It can provide HD video data storage and reliable central management for multiple IP cameras with real-time monitoring. It can connect up to 32 channel and enable to equip with eight internal 8 TB hard disks and you can purchase them individually. And the dual Ethernet port ensures stable network connections between NVR and cameras, even when the cameras are confronted with temporary network outage and provide the flexibility to connect to the network camera in case of network failover. And we also have a 64 channel NVR available. 
Next, we are using this 24-port managed PoE switch with SFP port. It has 24 PoE 1000 megabit per second that the transfer rate RJ45 port and 2 gigabit SFP port provide flexible high-speed fiber connectivity option for extended Ethernet and also compliant with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, provide up to 30 watts of power output. Equipped with powerful traffic management, QoS, and VLAN capabilities. And the network administrators can now construct highly secure cooperate networks with considerably less time and effort than before. So, without saying, let's do the connection together. Now let's connect the camera first. We should mount the camera securely on walls, ceilings, or poles. Strategically place the camera at different angles and heights, and also ensuring proper waterproofing for outdoor cameras. And our cameras are all waterproof rated. Now I'm going to connect the BDZ camera using a single Ethernet cable. Next, for the bullet camera, last but not least, our dome-shaped camera and they're all connected using an ethernet cable and this is the router and it's already connected to provide main network data one for the PoE switch and one for the NVR so let's come over here first of all we are going to connect the cameras one, two and three to our PoE switch And this is the data from our router. Let's connect it. And it's already powered up. You can see all the indicated lights are getting on. Next, I'm going to connect the router to our NVR. Let's plug it in here. You can see the light is on. This is the HDMI port to connect with the monitor. Last but not least, we have a mouse here. So we can control our NVR on the monitor. So now let's do the setup. Now we are going to add the cameras to our NVR by right click it. We can see the channel setting, click on it. We have three cameras waited to be connected. Hit the little add button. And we can see each camera has its unique IP address. And they're already be connected. It's pretty simple, right? apply it and exit Ta-da! so now we have all the cameras on our monitor i'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video this is the pdz camera the bullet camera and the doom camera now let's check out their zoom capabilities first of all the pdz camera we can see the zoom capability by right click it to the pdz control Let's try to zoom. It has 30 times capability. You can see the number is going up and to 30. We can even see the word on the computer after it focus. And let's zoom it back out. And we can move it around by moving the arrows left right up and down so this is our pdz camera next we have the bullet camera this is the very focal lens that we have to adjust it manually if you're interested we have another video on how to manually adjust the very focal lens last but not least we have the doom camera with the motorized zoom capability, let's go to PDZ control again and hit the zoom button. So it will zoom in and out as you want it. So now we are all done checking out their capabilities. So not only you can view the video footage on the monitor that connected to the NVR, you can also remote access them. For example, if you're using a computer, you can download a video management software so you can view the video footage on your computer.
And now I'm going to show you how to connect them to a mobile device so you can build the video footage whenever and wherever you want. First of all, your NVR has to connect it to the internet. I'm going to use the mouse to just move it on top. You will see a QR code showing up. Now open up your mobile device. For today, I'm using this app. Click on it, scan, just scan the QR code and it will add the device right away. You can also change the name. Let's click inside, start preview. As you can see, we have perfectly the same images on your computer, on your mobile device and the monitor. Now I'm going to show you, you can also remote control them. For example, this is the PDZ camera. We can go up and down. It will take a little bit of time. And oh, it's already up. So click left and right. You can also zoom in and out by hitting the zoom button. And let's go back. This is the Doom camera. We can do the same thing by zooming in and out. We can also record the video footage like this. Click one to record and click it one more time to stop it. Take a snapshot with it. And also we can talk to it if there's a microphone available. Let's go out. We have all the cameras up to 32 channels and this is how you can view the video footage on your mobile device and now i have some recommendations just for you first investing in high capacity poe switches to augment multiple cameras you can utilize vlans for improved network management Next, make sure you have enough storage room for video footages. Consider cloud storage for additional backup and accessibility. And also consider the need for a power backup solution in a larger properties and the uninterruptible power supplies to ensure continuous operation. Also have regular maintenance and monitoring. So that's a wrap on setting up a PoE camera system for large properties. With the right setup, you can have peace of mind knowing that your property is well protected. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions. Also subscribe to our channel Fast Cabling for more informative content. And thank you very much for watching.